turnabout. In this video I'm going to go through the turnabout manoeuvre which you'll be asked to carry out during your driving test. The turnabout is also known as the three point turn but this name is a bit outdated as it no longer has to be completed in three steps. It could take you more. During the video you'll see multiple camera angles so that you get a feel for what it looks like from not only inside the car but outside the car also in addition to, to being able to see how the steering should go and the observations which need to be taken to safely complete it. The aim is to demonstrate that you can safely control or turn the car in a tight area avoiding obstacles or curves whilst making observations. You might use this manoeuvre if you've taken a wrong turn into a dead end or the road happened to be blocked. During the lesson you will be asked to turn the car around to face the opposite direction using the forward and reverse gears. Your tester may add you can go back and forward as many times as you like. It no longer has to be done in three movements. It may take five or even seven if the road is narrow enough. To carry it out well you'll need good clutch control, fast steering and effective observations. You must yield right of way to all other road users and pedestrians during the process. All vehicles are entitled to go around you. You must not proceed until they've either gone past you or they've stopped and they're letting you go. Remember, just because they let you go once doesn't mean to say that they'll let you go again or that it's still safe as another road user might approach. Don't move until you know that it's safe. Clutch down, first gear, biting point. Centre mirror, right signal, look over your right shoulder, release the handbrake and start to move the car across locking the wheel as quickly as you can. Into reverse gear, 360 degree observation. Looking out your back window, release the handbrake, continue moving the, the car back while still looking out your back window. Just over halfway across, look over your right shoulder find the kerb. Into first gear, a 300 degree observation making sure it's safe both directions and then pull in and park in a safe place on the left. Ideally you want to make the road as wide as possible so use as much of the road as you can. If you look at the picture coming onto the screen now you'll see that the bottom of the wing mirror is parallel with the kerb. You can see the red line I've got drawn through there. That'll work where the road is, is reasonably wide. So maximise the width of the road and use the full width where possible. So this angle now shows how close the front wheel gets to the kerb when the wing mirror becomes parallel with the top of it. Before the reversing part, it's important that you do a 360 degree observation. Your predominant observation should be looking out the back window. After all, it's the direction you're going. Just over halfway across, you turn over your right shoulder to look for the kerb. And a little tip is to look to see where the kerb disappears out of your view against the edge of your door. The point at which it disappears when you stop will depend on your height. I'm quite small, so for me it comes down into the bottom, very bottom corner of the door. If someone's taller or their seat position's slightly different, it could be an inch or two up. It's a little bit of trial and error to see what works for you, but it does work and it's a very handy hint. I find it pointless to look in the wing mirror because when it gets to the critical point, in other words, you're close to the kerb, the kerb is often dropped out of the view of the wing mirror anyway and you can't see it. And now for the drone footage. You'll see me bringing the car across to the other side of the road nice and slow using clutch control keeping the clutch in nice and low just to keep the car as slow as possible. The higher up you bring that clutch the faster you're going to go. Fast steering. Trying to avoid dry steering moving the wheel as I'm moving the car. Observations left and right, maximising the road as wide as possible within reason and then pulling in and parking in a safe place on the left. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, just ask.